Coco enjoyed taking the night goods. The evening air was crisp, and it was nice running with no other engineer. One foggy evening, he arrived on the other railway right on time. He parked his trucks and made his way to the shed. The yard was big, but Boko never had any trouble finding his way. Tonight, however, the fog was so thick that he had completely lost his bearings. Strange, he muttered to himself. I'm certain the sheds were around here. <sighs> Finally, he smiled. But his relief was short-lived. <sighs> sheds a shed, old fellow, sighed his driver. I'll go mad trying to find our way in this fog any longer. Boko was uneasy, but he didn't want to navigate through the fog any further, so he rolled silently into the shed and said goodnight to his driver. Why, hello, <laughs> it's not often I have visitors. At last, Boko found his voice. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, he stuttered. I, I didn't mean to intrude. to be my driver and I got lost in the fog. <laughs> no need for apologies, chuckled the engine. Fog can lead you places you don't expect to be. Besides, it's nice to have company for a change. Well, thank you, smiled Boko. I must admit, I am surprised. I've been taking the night goods for years, but I've never seen this shed before. Or you, for that matter. You're not the only one. Seems I'm invisible to most who work here. You're a soda engine, aren't you? How did you know? You're different from the diesels that live around these parts. Much more courteous, for a start. I was a Sodor engine too, many moons ago. Used to work at the big station. Lovely place it was. <sighs> Only wish I had appreciated it more at the time. Why don't you return? asked Boko. I'm sure the Fat Controller would welcome you back with open arms. Oh, no, no, stammered the engine. He didn't have the patience for an engine like me. Nonsense, smiled Boko. He certainly wouldn't want to see you in a state like this. Tell you what, come back with me tomorrow. Tell me. Asked the old engine. Is Edward still around? Oh, yes, replied Boko. I work on his branch line. Ah, I am glad to hear it, smiled the engine. A kind soul he was. I only wish I had been as kind to him. What did you say your name was? asked Boko. Oh, it's getting late, yawned the old engine. We'd better get some sleep now. We'll finish our chat in the morning. Boko's sleep was anything but peaceful. All night long, he dreamed of scrapyards. I didn't keep you up. I had an awful... You'll do a number on your engine staying out in the cold all night. 
where's the shed? In the engine? <laughs> By the old portal. Strange breed, these sword or engines. When <laughs> <laughs> Boko's driver arrived, he was surprised too. Sheds don't just disappear. He set off for home with much on his mind. He didn't know what to make of the old engine, the disappearing shed, or his dream. He did know, however, that he'd be having a long talk with Edward. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video because it was not fucking made for kids. <laughs>